Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. Hey, I've got uh, a new one for us today. I haven't played this on the channel yet, but this is Tower of Guns. Uh, you know, it's got uh, uh, similar vibes to Gunfire Reborn, I would say. Um, kind of a roguelike FPS game, and... Uh, you know, I got this on Good Old Games uh, for $5 a few weeks back, and I've been wanting to try it, and uh, I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to install that Tower of Guns. We're going to give that a go. And uh, turns out, it's fun. It's kind of hard, uh, but it's fun. So, you know, let's see if we can put together a good run here. If I can uh, get my aim down. Good lord. So here's the deal here. Um, off to the right side, we've got the uh, blue meter, and that measures the uh, power of the gun, right? And we're picking up these red things. Uh, I think that might be gold? I don't know. I'll, t I'll tell you in a minute once I uh, re-acquaint uh, myself with the game. Um, the red is probably not the gold. I think I think the gold actually looks like gold. Come to think of that's gold over there. So um, basically we're trying to survive the massive amount of guns in every arena and uh, continue moving through those doors while collecting gold uh, because we've got the option along the way to, uh, you know, buy upgrades and pick up relics and, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. Aside from just the gun upgrades. Here's the other interesting thing that uh, this game does. When you get hit, uh, your your level of gun power also can take a hit. So it's, um, it's got some interesting management stuff going on. Now, I think I went with the... Yeah, so you can make a choice before each run. In terms of uh, a power you want to start the game with, I went with the triple jump. And uh, we'll see if that ends up being a good decision or not. So we just power up the weapon again. I'll admit, some of these rooms are harder than others. Um, you never really know what you're going to get. But if you take a look, I've got multiple uh, bullets coming out of the pea shooter at this point. Okay, so far, pretty decent. Oh, interesting. I think I just found a secret? I, I didn't even know. Oh, that's... Okay, alright, that's really cool. I, I didn't know that uh, the game did that. Awesome. All right, so we got four jumps now. That should be enough, right? Now, I will say, uh, and this might just be a symptom of, you know, <clears throat> the first time playing the game. Uh, at the beginning, I was having trouble finding the doors. But uh, I've, I've gotten better at it now. You gotta like locate the door and shoot it with the bullet, and uh, that'll open it up. All right, this guy doesn't seem to be giving me too big of a problem. Perfect. Another weapon level up. So the bullet got a little bit bigger, like that, and uh, we'll continue on here. I think we're going to get a chance at some point to uh, spend some gold. We don't have a lot. That's the issue, but uh, we should... Wait, are these guys good? No. Oh. Alright, maybe they're good. Like I say, still learning. Alright, we're going to blast up to the next uh, level in the tower. Alright, so I didn't get par... 
But I did find the secret. Well, we'll take that. Okay. Tower of Guns continues. Uh, like I say, you know, if this game looks interesting to you, you should be able to pick it up on the cheap at this point. Like I said, I think I got it on GOG for around $5 US, so... Uh, if that was a limited deal, so be it, but still, you, you should be able to find a decent price for this game. I was thinking for a second, maybe I could shoot those green things. Okay. Uh, we are on the verge of another power-up. Awesome. Grab that gold. All right. Ready for more. All right, so that's an example of uh, taking too many hits and having your weapon get degraded. Not our favorite thing to have happen. But you can quickly power it back up as long as you can find the, the blue orbs, the blue rectangles. The rectangles seem to uh, give you a little bit more of a boost to that bar. Now, if you haven't noticed already, uh, the one really cool part of this game is the soundtrack. Uh, the music is awesome. And that stayed pretty consistent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We'll take some of these guns out before we try to climb. Sometimes you're just getting shot from every direction. And uh, that's not okay. Uh, that'll that'll eventually um, end your fun time. At least for this run. Oh goodness! All right. All right. So let's uh, let's ascend. Okay. Oh, so this cube is kind of interesting. It'll blast you in whatever direction you uh, go through it. Kind of neat. Uh, speaking of, that was fantastic. I almost think we should just go through the door at this point. Yeah, we're gonna. I know I might be leaving resources behind, but... I'm just gonna make a run for it. Oh boy, how do we get rid of these? There we go. Tower of laser traps. I'm coming up on low life, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we might be ending this run. We're gonna have to see. Oh boy, all right, well. We gotta get over and get some health. There we go. There's some health. A little bit. Oh, not much. Not much at all. Oh, there it is. You have died. Yeah, four deaths total. I, I like that it uh, keeps track of the, the previous runs so that you've got an overall death counter. You know what? Let's go one more. Why not? I actually don't want to play with the same loadout, though. Um... I want to go, wait a second, this looks, this looks kind of wild. What is this now? This is Cake Down. I've counted up your wins and losses and it looks like this is your fifth run. This is the point where people could do with a bit of a surprise. Use these gifts to help you have a good fifth run. That's awesome. All right. We got, we got some 
gold happening? All right. Well, that's mighty kind, stranger. New guns, 609 millimeter something or other. All right, let's continue. I think that means we've opened up a, a new starting gun option. I don't know. Okay. You know, I think they uh, deliver some story along the way. Um, I, you know, I don't really come to the, the roguelike and roguelike games for story, uh, but I will say from what I've read, you know, it's, it's kind of humorous. I appreciate it. I guess the one... Uh, contrary to that would be Hades. What a what a great roguelite that offered some just phenomenal storytelling. If you haven't played Hades, drop everything and play Hades. It's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful game. It gets a lot of love and all of it is earned. All of it wonderful game. Check it out. Okay, so, back to Tower of Guns. We'll do one more run, because why not? It's fun. This is just one of those chill games, right? Where you can sit back and shoot stuff. You know, your hands just kind of know what to do. Yeah, you're going to get knocked around by enemies, but so what? We're just chilling and shooting stuff. And my buddy and I used to get together. I had one of those gigantic gaming laptops, and uh, so did he. We'd get together out on his back porch. We'd play some Unreal Tournament. Uh, but we liked the co-op mode, where it was like an endless uh, run. Now, this was actually before Horde Mode became, like, a standard thing in video games. I feel like that happened, uh, right when, uh, oh, the, the bull man is throwing me off here. Uh, I feel like that happened when Gears of War came out. You know, Horde Mode just kind of became a thing that, uh, games included, right? But we used to get out there and, uh, play this mode in Unreal. It was just so relaxing. I mean, again, you're going to get blown away at times, but that's okay. There's not much to think about. You just keep your character moving, keep blasting away. Hell of a way to relax. All right. So it looks like maybe a new gun opened up again. I'm, I'm really not sure. I know uh, by playing the game, you can open up new capabilities that you're going to start with. I don't know what opens up uh, as you, you know, play the game. All right, so we've got some conversation about uh, the tower itself happening story-wise. It's an ode to death itself. All right. Okay, so we've got a level five gun. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Doing good as far as uh, collecting the gold as well. I'll fess up. I, I haven't found many opportunities to spend gold. Maybe that's why I've performed the way I have. Um, okay, what do we have here? Vampire gun mod. We have a hundred? We do. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so we've got the vampire gun mod. Uh, weapon mod vampire. Okay, I can see that it's on. Just don't know. Can't remember which way we were going. Okay. 
clearly this way. I'm guessing shooting these guys is going to give me health. And that's the whole vampire deal, as, as is typical. We gotta get rid of these guns. Man, oh man. I, I can't tell if the vampire is actually doing something or or what. Um, now let's get rid of these to open up our path over here. The uh, magnet does help quite a bit. I'm kind of a fan of that. Alright. If I wasn't mistaken, it looked like they were hiding something over here. But I'm going to get hit. Okay. You know what? We're not going to worry about that. We are going to shoot the guns up here, though. Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, look at this big thing. You know, I think I am getting life back on, on every kill. It's hard to look at the bar while shooting, but I, I think that's what's happening. We're just going to keep moving along here. Oh, holy smokes. All right. So we got something over here. What do we got over here? Oh, boy. Uh, new gun. Okay. My goodness, they have descended upon us. Um, I mean, that's the first time I've seen them drop something like that. I, I, wonder, I wonder what that is. It's just a one-time use thing, or what do we got here? Badge. All right. So badges, as far as I know, make you move a little bit faster, typically. Oh, crit chance up. Okay. And I take that back. Like I say, still learning. The badges do random things. All right, we don't have enough for that. Uh, let's just keep moving on. We can. I'm liking this vampire mod. This is good stuff. All right. Now, I think what we want to do is head up. Do that by going here. Oh, all right. Or it's a warp. That'll work, too. This might be a boss room. All right, maybe not. Okay with that. It'll take a little bit more time. Oh boy, holy smokes, we got an area of effect happening now. Okay. That big rocket really uh, makes a splash, doesn't it? Whoa, what happened there? That was weird. Like I fell off or something? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So maybe a section of the floor? Fell? I actually have no idea. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. So what's happening here? All right, all right, all right. So can I make it across? Come on. There it is. All right. Now is this going to move too? It is. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, there it is. All right. And we've fallen again. All right. I'm not going to lie, this is a tough board. Do, uh, do people still call game levels boards, or, or am I probably dating myself, aren't I? I'm all right with that. 
problem. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. I think the key is gonna be jumping because that seems to give us a little bit more speed. Yep, that was it. Get that jump for the win. All right, guy, I'm gonna be jumping you too. Major Moose has got a new perk. All right, now I remember that flipped too, so we're gonna keep moving here. Oh my goodness, oh! Oh, it was going so well. Well, that's all right. Let's, uh, let's see if we've got some new starting options now, maybe for next time. All right, see? We've got some new guns that opened up. We've got some new perk options here. Immune to self-damage. Immune to environmental damage. Uh, I've, I've usually just been going with this. I, I like that option. But we've got we've got some new guns here to try out for next time. Hey, stay tuned to the Goat Force Gaming channel. Uh, love hanging out with all of you. Love seeing you show up in the comments. We've got uh, we've got a really great community here. So if you like the roguelikes and the roguelites it's as much as the goat does, uh, hit that sub button. And then hit that like button. And then slam the hell out of that bell. I don't know what it does, but uh, there's only one way to find out. All right. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Take care.